on the road, in the air, on the water. Buckle up. Always wear a life jacket. Hi, I'm Mike from Badger Paddles here at Canoe Copia in our 15 year anniversary booth at the, at, the, at the show. And we've introduced a new, we've been kind of racking our brains for a long time about a good way to size paddles without being on the water. And uh, with the help of uh, my wife and some of the guys at the shop, I think we've finally come up with uh, a way that we're really happy that, that helps people a lot. Um, especially down here in the Midwest where people are used to different proportion paddles. We sell traditional paddles, tend to be long bladed for the area around here. It kind of throws people off on sizing. Uh, they think they should be in a shorter paddle, but because our blades are longer, they need a longer paddle overall. So we come up with a way to help people through the process. Uh, with a paddle, the blade really shouldn't be part of the equation when you're sizing. Um, the overall length really actually means nothing. So it'd be nice if we could just think about the shaft and the grip. So this is a 31 and a half inch shaft on our Badger paddle sizer here. And this shaft would fit a 60 inch sliver, a 60 inch tripper, a 60 inch tail, in our models, a 66 inch feather, which is a long bladed solo paddle and a 54 bonga, which is a shorter bladed paddle. So um, people can hang onto a shaft, they can size it, and then they can sit in a canoe and actually take a stroke with it. So start off with, as a general rule of thumb, this is a 60 inch, sh a shaft of a 60 inch paddle, a 31 and a half inch shaft actually, but at, say a 60 inch tripper. Up here like this, hand on the throat, hand on, sorry, hand on the grip, hand on the throat, up like this. I'm at 90 degrees and this is like the maximum length you would want a paddle to be. Um, and once people have gone through that, they can come over and they can sit in the canoe. So, now I get to sit in the canoe, consider this blue line, the water line, and without having a blade on here, I can actually hold the paddle and I can take a stroke. And this is gonna demonstrate for me where my hands are gonna end up. And the biggest thing it's gonna show me is where my top hand is gonna be. Because if your top hand's too high and if you're too spread out, you're going to be punching up here, which can be painful and just not effective. You'd kind of wanna be down a little bit lower. Um, when I take a stroke with this, it works, it's fine. My hand's about as high as I want it to be right now. I've got shoulders that don't love a big long paddle, so I'm actually going to try one size down. So this is a 28 and a half inch shaft, I'm going to take a stroke, and I'm actually happier here with my top hand down a little bit lower. So previously at shows and in showrooms, we just couldn't get a stroke, we couldn't let people try this part out, and now you can, and it really, really helps you narrow down what you want without being on the water. Uh, for more information on the models, Check out badgerpaddles.com and thanks for watching.